hosted by the Army National Guard. And for the first time, this prestigious tournament is here in Indianapolis, a city that adores hoops. We're just to the west at Brownsburg High School, and it's time for our second quarterfinal of the day in the boys' bracket. The four seed Long Island Lutheran, and Paul Columbus coming off a run in the throne tournament last week in the Northeast. They lost in the championship game. Cameron Boozer splashes in a three for the game's first. We said it last year when he was a sophomore, Paul. He just looks the part. He looks like he could give you minutes at the college level right away, and especially so now, even as a junior. Count the bucket for McDonald's game. Boozer, too strong, and Abdullahi with the Fousers. Does all the dirty work and can play above the rim. Caden Mingo gets it to drop. Caden Boozer. Blew by Caden Mingo for the deuce. Has he improved? Caden Boozer. Yes. Malouk at 6'11", getting around Abdullahi, and he knocks down the first. Then an offensive player second. It's like there's a conveyor belt of them down in Tallahassee. Malouk with the rebound now. Ahead to Edgecombe on the break. And the lob to Nigel James for the jam. Next level play, his passing ability. Jace Richardson hits the triple. Columbus in front for an extra playmaker to go with the Boozers. Caden Mingo from distance, give it to him. On the high main. This conversion play did not end up in a wedgie by Luhai. Alley oop time. And anyway, they got a chance to sleep in, get some breakfast, and they have been sharp to start this game. And this is a mature group. If something like that's not going to distract them or make it an extra. His size can handle up top. And Chase Richardson buries the three. A junior in the ESPN 60. Itchcomb, final seconds. And the fall away goes for the top five player in the senior class, signed with Baylor. And let's see how Luhai attacks it. Edgecombe over the top of it with a triple. That's how you attack the zone. He's got the corner. That time it goes middle, wing, corner. VJ, great shot mechanics preparation. Richardson on the break for Columbus. And Randy Smith connects from distance. That's beautiful this afternoon, including nine McDonald's All-Americans. We're watching one right now at Edge School. And Alir Malouk puts it in for Lujan. Boy, he is long. And I think I won the argument. So check it out on his radio show. Maybe ask Dan about that. Edgecombe with the turnaround. 11 points for the number four kick. And Randy Smith couldn't hit it this time. Oh, Jace Richardson got it back. And he knows how to get up like his dad. Long shots, long rebound. Caden Mingo, the junior against Jace Richardson. Oh, what a scoop! Tell you what, I'll just watch him. Gets nice and low. He's quick, he's strong. Great focus on the scoop. He denied at the rim. Edge come out to Kyan Anthony. Bullseye! It's a third. Feet set and ready to knock it down. Jace Richardson. Oh, throws it in. Off balance. Caden Boozer stripped him. And Cam ahead to his brother, two on one. Caden Boozer with the finish. A two and team. a timeout. Columbus. Post touch for Cameron Boozer. Doubled. And Cameron Boozer powers through it for the basket. On two defenders. There's one on the baseline. Here comes the help from the middle. Squeezes through both. Splits him like the Bahamas. He says he wants to help kids like me. How about that touch pass from Cam Boozer and Chase Rick? Edgecum finds Malouk for the slam. Good if it goes here from Jace Richardson. The dime by VJ Edgecombe. He saw two guys on him. Come down to. 
You wonder how McDonald's All-Americans perform in this event just days after everything that week demands. So far, V.J. Edgecombe looks dominant. V.J. Edgecombe is a max-level athlete with NBA moves and touch. He can shoot it deep behind the arc. He's got a quick release, great elevation in his jump shot. He moved inside the top five in the senior class. Cam Boozer for Columbus. Finesse on the outside and power on the inside. How about that dime? Playmaker as a power forward as well. But I love this one. Takes on two defenders, gets the split and the finish. We check out our first half stats brought to you by the Army National Guard. Twins, Cameron and Caden, Jace Richardson, top 25 player in the senior class, headed to Michigan State just like dad. And Cameron Boozer team, the under 18 level. Caden Boozer knocks it down, and we are top. Ball defender. Jump shot is getting better. Nigel James right down the chute. Long Island. Mingo, then James beats you. Oh, great pick. By Caden Mingo, the junior scoops it in. Oh. Tried to draw the foul there, no whistle. Now Caden Boozer missed the floater. Oh, are they going to count the basket? Yeah, they're calling basket in our last ranking, and he's earned every bit of it. Caden was trying to find his brother, turned it over, and Nigel James flips it in. And against the taller but thinner Malouk. Five now for Caden Boozer. And Caden Boozer beats the shot clock. I was going to say that was the Kyan Anthony back in. Cam Boozer, the outlet to his brother. And the follow by Jackson Richardson, the soft. And both Boozers have played very well. Jace Richardson, the wraparound to his younger brother, Jackson. James with seven. Malouk blocked at the rim by Jackson Richardson, but Malouk follows with the tip. Malouk. Over 6'11", exactly, but Malouk stays with it to get the offensive rebound. And Jackson Richardson curls around Malouk. Gets to go in the quarter. Nigel James. Ahead to Caden Boozer. Blocked by Edgecombe. Count it. It's a goaltend. And calls his team down by four. Cameron Boozer on the block. Oh, the explosive move. Post move. Two dribbles to the middle, drop step to the baseline. Puts it. They have to do it as a group without VJ Edgecombe in the game. Randy Smith with a long two for Columbus. Star power in both games. You think of Camilla Cardoso for South Carolina. Brand new lineup for Don Staley. And back in the final four. Star powers at home. And he did it with his left hand. Off the steal. Randy Smith for two more. Columbus out to its largest lead. And a timeout for Long Island Luther. Out of Jackson Richardson's hands. Controlled by Columbus. Boozer to Boozer. Caden with the finish. Cameron, you haven't. <laughs> you know, his vision is incredible, Cam Booth. Edgecombe, nice find, and the reverse by Malouk. Cameron Boozer hits again. Cameron Boozer is clutch. Just plays with great poise. Caden Mingo. Bingo! That's a three. Lou High. 20-25. Well, how about Cameron Boozer, the number two player in the class of 2025 today? He's been spectacular. They play to him. They play through him. Whatever his team needs, he delivers in a big-time way. How about the low post move with the drop step? You put him in the pick and roll, rejects it, shoots over 6'11". Rebound. Definition of hard work, Columbus on the glass. How about Caden Boozer's inbound pass all the... The same leadership. And Cameron Boozer with an exclamation point. The bucket and the foul. Cameron Boozer has been sensational in this game in so many different ways. The full 4 and 11, Jason Jackson, big numbers as well. And now the lob, Jackson Richardson throws it down. So that does it.
in the 4-5 matchup at Chipotle Nationals. Columbus advances with a big fourth quarter and a big game from the number two junior in the country, Cameron Boozer. Andrew Moran's team making their first ever appearance in this tournament. And Columbus is on to the semifinals with a 71-58 win over Long Island Lutheran.